Making a pinfish trap. I'm not very good with this camera. Alright, so far all we've done is cut out some chicken wire into a cone shape. And then I use some little zip ties right here. You can get them from anywhere Aces Hardware, Home Depot, and zip tie it at the end. You can also take the uh, little extra pieces of wire and bend them around to make it a little more secure. And that's pretty much it. And you got a cone with like a hollow center. Oh yeah, use gloves because this stuff's prickly. Alright. Then you take your other piece that you cut off and you make like a cone type thing. It's got one small end and one big end. So it looks like this. That's what the fish is looking at. He's going to go in and then he can't get out because he's too dumb. Alright. Okay. So now we're to this point. You just basically put that cone that you made inside, kind of like a little fly bottle trap with the small end facing inside the trap and the large end fitting flush with the outside of the cone and just <clears throat> place a few zip strips to hold it in place and then trim the excess. You're going to have a little bit of excess. I had about that much. But you trim the excess using the uh, zip ties kind of to hold it in place and then just shore it up when you're done and then clip the zip ties and then I will show you how to put the bottom on and then how to rig it up with bait. Alright, now we're to this point. We have an excess piece of the chicken wire. And we're going to put it down like so. On top of your opened end of your cone. Right? It doesn't really matter which way you put it. Um, I would rather put it the other way. Alright, so. What you're going to do is put it down. Use your little clippers. Basically make a rudimentary circle. Just clip around. And then you're going to zip tie one end. Kind of like hinge. So it goes in and out. And then you leave it just a little bit to the inside. Leave the uh, extra metal strip. So that way you can kind of secure it on the inside of the cylinder. And I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so I took these... Uh, little like picture hanger things that I found laying around oh yeah this is what it looks like finished product you just cut it round but but stay to the outside leave yourself a little room for error you know what they say measure twice cut once just don't want to mess up so just give yourself a little room for error and just cut a little bit of the outside and bend them down you know so you don't stab yourself and then take two zip ties and take this little picture hanger thing and with the picture opposite what you would if you were hanging a picture. Put the little grabby end facing up. Alright. Then you get you one of these little tiny gas station like bungee cord things. And hook it to there. And then you hook it to the other side. Damn. I'm not good at bungee cords to the other side right so it looks like that and then you just stretch it down like so and it snaps in place holds the bungee cord and then it's like a secure little trap door so the fish can't get out but when you want to get your bait you just open it up and the bait's in there it's pretty slick um, so yeah finished product looks pretty pretty good and then Next video, I'll show you how to rig it up and put bait in there. So, yeah. Fish on. Fish on. Wow, it's a little baby sucker. Hey, fish. fish.
Bait fish. That's a bait fish, huh? 